monster in the mid Ohio music scene, shaming artists for their songs and banning people from shows. And as he hides behind the premise of social justice, everyone's too afraid to speak up for fear that they will get blacklisted themselves. But I've been banned before and everyone already knows I'm a piece of shit, so I'm ready to face this monster head on. Aurelio Villa Luna Chimichanga Sriracha Diaz. He had us all fooled with his angelic persona and his kind eyes, but he was a wolf in sheep's clothing, and that was bad news for me. I was banned from Aurelio's venue La Luna recently, but that wasn't the first time I've been banned from a venue. There I was, just a fresh young solo act with stars in my eyes, giddy with excitement because I was about to play my first ever show at the Phoenix Brewery. Little did I know, it was about to be my last. Aurelio was a slithery, snaky little snake, and I was suffering sabotage. Look how happy I was. So naive. See, I didn't hear about being banned from anyone from the bar. I heard it from Aurelio, who is the one who set that show up. Do you expect me to believe the proprietors of a fine establishment like the Phoenix Brewery would just ban a musical act without discussing the issues or even saying one fucking word to them in person? How dare you? Why, that would be unprofessional and a little douchey and really embarrassing if someone called them out for it in public, if it were true. But the reason I believe it was Aurelio's doing and not the Phoenix's is this. Here are the lyrics to my song, The Weeknd. And here are the lyrics to Aurelio's song, Legend of Usefulness. Uncanny. Hmm, Aurelio still plays shows at the Phoenix regularly. He fucked me out of my spot at the Phoenix and he used my own song for lube. Because if my lyrics were the reason I got banned like he says it was, and the Phoenix allows him to play lyrics like that regularly, why that would make them a bunch of fucking hypocrites. But don't worry, the Phoenix. I won't let Aurelio slander your good name. Let's talk about the Brahm sound. I believe it was number three or four or six or 17. Who gives a fuck? Who can keep track? Whichever one it was, Aurelio did a, a little interview with the Mansfield News Journal and uh, got a, a beautifully written article out of it. Except there's one problem. I'm not in it. I'm on the flyer. I played the show, but somehow my name was absent from the article. Now Aurelio claims that he gave my info to the reporter and she neglected to put it in. Are you saying that Courtney Day of the Mansfield News Journal would blatantly remove me from the article because a white guy playing a culturally diverse show doesn't fit the narrative? Courtney Day of the Mansfield News Journal would never do that because Courtney Day of the Mansfield News Journal has integrity. That would be completely biased and dishonest, not to mention racist. Are you saying you shouldn't trust what she writes because she crafts the story to her liking? Are you saying her article was an uninspired piece of trash that she didn't even follow up by actually attending the show or do any real journalism of any kind? Are you saying the Richland Source is a better paper? Because it sounds like that's what you're saying and I will not have it. But allow me to put aside my personal squabbles with Aurelio and get to the big issues because his actions get far more sinister than his betrayals against me. Aurelio said nigga in a song. What are you, a Nazi? What are you, in the KKK? I don't feel like I'm outraged enough by this. I'm gonna have to hear it for myself. Did I miss it? Oh, there it was! Oh my god, that was so hateful! Aurelio also made a video and used a series of stills from said video depicting a bunch of masks. Ugh. And one of the masks depicts blackface. Aurelio tried to explain his intentions and that it wasn't meant to be racist, but your intentions mean nothing to my blind outrage. Who do you think you are? People don't think you're a racist just because you raise thousands of dollars for different charitable organizations and you throw quarterly shows celebrating the diversity of people of color and the LGBTQ community respectively and you had a career of over 
20 years helping people with disabilities. But we all know that that's not real activism. Real activism is being mean to people on Facebook. Is there no one out there that can stop this hate-mongering tyrant? There is. A hero comes from out of the darkness. A man so humble that he didn't even want to take credit for his heroic actions. So to protect his identity, let's just call him Spaghetti. Now Spaghetti first heard Aurelio's racist song at a show where he actually traded Aurelio a hug for a copy of his CD. But he didn't confront him about it then because that's just what Aurelio was expecting. Instead, he quietly retreated into the shadows. He pulled out of one of Aurelio's shows that he'd agreed to, lulling him into a false sense of security, giving him a, a fake story about work or some shit. Soon Aurelio found himself uninvited to shows here and there, and our hero Spaghetti only revealed his intentions when Aurelio was blacklisted from a Columbus DIY house venue. I don't want to put them on blast, so we'll call it the house that shall not be named. Aurelio was beat. Spaghetti had a small army of friends and peers that weren't blinded by Aurelio's side of the story. And Spaghetti put the nail in the coffin with a few masterfully crafted Facebook messages. He attacked his song and his disgusting face paint. You see, Aurelio, you don't own that history and those images. Spaghetti does. And maybe in the small, hip town of Mansfield, people of all colors can just play shows on the same bill and get along without issue. But in real cities like Columbus, we blacklist you for disagreeing with anything we say. If you look up the video in question and check the views, wow, 170 views in three years. And to think, if Spaghetti never brought it up, then probably no one would ever even know how outraged they should be. A gay brown man isn't priority. You see, Aurelio, the thing about equality is some people are more equal than others. And your whole gay brown thing is cute and all, but you're just, you're just not oppressed enough for your opinion to matter. You underestimated Spaghetti. What you didn't realize is he hates racism so much that he's willing to be racist and oppress people himself to defeat racism. To defeat a racist, you must become the racist. Brilliant, just fucking brilliant. Aurelio attempted to fight back by making a diss track called Black Queer, but he misspelled black, what an idiot. And also, how dare you call him a queer? What'd you say, Johnny? Queer isn't derogatory? It means something else now? Oh. Well, it's still, the song's still really mean. Don't listen to it. Do not click the link in the description and listen to Aurelio's diss track, Black Queer, off of his album, QPOC and LMNOP, on Bandcamp. Don't do it. If you're a little slow to get the joke, I'm not really trying to attack Aurelio. He knew I was making this video the whole time, and you've all been bamboozled. It's a monster in the mid-Ohio music scene, and his name is... Spaghetti. We started a fake beef on social media, but honestly, it was just meant to be a goof. Little inside joke for when the video came out, but then something happened. People started saying mean things, and it turned into a real social experiment of sorts. Now, I don't want to vilify these people, because I know it's a sensitive issue, and after all, they were just sticking up for their friend. But in the spirit of this video, I have to make fun of you and mock you for being a hypocrite. Now, despite my racial disability and my boring mainstream gender and sex, I at least know that if you're trying to continue to hide behind the charade that you're fighting against discrimination, then your first argument shouldn't be to discriminate against my race and my gender. As a queer person of color, which translates to let me speak for all queer people of color real quick and also means you're white so your opinion means less than mine i made a song called ronald reagan and the point of the song was i am mocking the ideals that racists have and i talk about real conversations with racists that i've had that don't make any fucking sense aurelio attacked this song on facebook in an attempt to parody 
the people that did the same exact thing to him. And you took the fucking bait because you can't fucking think for yourself. And this person is attacking me for this song and saying that it's not PC. You're making satire out of yourself, I hope you realize. You're attacking someone's attempt at an anti-racist song for being non-PC. Didn't I see that on South Park? That's some mayonnaise fuckery right there. <laughs> Honestly, I prefer the tangy zip of Miracle Whip. And again, mocking my race, trying to oppress my words because you disagree with them, and then saying, if I disagree with you, I don't care about marginalized people. And you also, you make it sound like these words offend you personally, but you're not Mexican, you're not a gay man, you're not black, so what's, what out of that song offended you, you personally? Oh, you must be a racist. It's offensive to racists. Oh, man, how could I have forgot to make it a safe space for racists? Oh, don't I feel silly. If you listen to the song, I don't say any of these words attacking someone like that. I am merely repeating things I've heard and mocking that. Like, if you, you're not arguing against racism in this case, you're arguing against words. And, you like, I'm not afraid of words. Haven't you never seen Harry Potter where they won't say Voldemort's name because they're scared of him, and Harry Potter tells them if you're afraid of the word, then you give the word more power. So, really, how is attacking my attempt at an anti-racist song helping your cause? How is that fighting racism or fighting discrimination? You're not fighting racism. You're not fighting anything. You're just fighting on Facebook. It's like the whole punch a Nazi thing. See, the problem with that whole stupid shit that came out is you have some asshole in the back saying, you're a Nazi, you're a Nazi, PewDiePie's a Nazi, you're a Nazi. And that's what these guys are doing. You're a racist, you're a racist, you're a racist. Hey, Spaghetti, you're a racist. Now, there's a lot of racist people out there but Aurelio fucking Diaz is not one of them. By blacklisting Aurelio from your fucking scene, both your scene and your cause are worse off because of it. Aurelio Diaz is an advocate and an ally who performs real activism, raising real dollars for real causes, and offers real, genuine love from his heart to both marginalized people and white pieces of shit like me alike. I know these issues can get emotional, and if you're surrounded by a bunch of people with this same mindset, it can get very confusing, and you don't know which side is the right side. Let me make it easy for you. Activism is about helping bring people up. What these guys are doing is kicking people down, and if you find yourself trying to kick someone down, you're on the wrong fucking side. And you could maybe argue that this video is a kick down, but let me explain the difference to you. All I'm doing is making fun of you. I'm just speaking my mind. What I'm not doing is trying to silence you and say, you can't say that. You can't write that song. You can't play here. You're white and straight, so shut your fucking mouth and think like I do. And if you don't, I got this race card right here with your name on it, and I'm not afraid to use it. Use it. I could care less. Leave that boy alone. Leave that boy alone. He's got a knife.